All right. Recently for the 4th of July, I did a t-shirt um, and an embroidery t-shirt and I wanted to change um, the colors that it used. Now, even though this um, particular design only has three colors, two of them, the red and the blue, um, appear in many, many steps. And I didn't want to have to go through changing every single one. So what I did was, what I discovered was that if you go over to the properties window and you right click on one of the colors and you say change color on page. For example, this has brought up the true blue that I'm using and let's say I wanted to change it um, to a uh, darker blue. Let's say I wanted to change it, I happen to know one of the numbers. So let's say right now it's at color 1842. Um, these are Madeira colors. And I wanted to change it to 1555, which is a much darker navy blue. Um, and so I click on it and I say, okay. And it changes it throughout the entire design. I'll do that again. Let's do it with the red. Okay. So I go over to the properties windows and I right click on one of the reds and then I say change color on page. All right. And let's say I'm going to change this um, to uh, rhubarb. I click on the color. I say, okay. And it has now changed it throughout the design. Um, let's do that again. So uh, let's change the blue back to its original. So I right click on one of the colors and it really doesn't matter which one I right click on. As long as I choose change color on page and I'm going to go back to 1842, which is true blue, say okay, and it has now changed it completely. And that's how you can change the color throughout the entire design. Um, so I hope that was helpful.